Happy Tuesday. What's today's date? The 26th? We are at the end. We are at the end of July, guys. Pineapple juice, you know, pineapple juice. Ray don't like soda like that, you know? Alright, so, guys, huh. This topic, fellas, fellas, fellas. <sighs> you are not a woman. I'm, I'm gonna say it clear as day. You are not a woman. Listen, if you were born a man, you are a goddamn man. I don't want to hear. I can't say no. I can say I don't want to hear because I don't want to hear. I'm tired of hearing dudes walk around saying. I was born in the wrong body and all that. No. If you're a man, you're a man. Period. You got ovaries? Okay, all women can have babies. Do you have a vagin? No. Oh, you, you, you got a surgical one, but it's still not a real one. If you were born a man, you're a man. That's not my topic, so I'm going to leave that alone. But I just wanted to say that. I, I, I don't care who you sleep with. It's how you carry yourself. You are not a woman. Period. Now, to my straight fellas, the things that are going on nowadays, <laughs> we are picking up a lot of feminine traits as men. One, because a lot of men are raised by women, around a lot of women. So you pick up a lot of things and then you don't have that male role model to tell you and correct you. No, that is not how men move. That is not how men carry themselves. We live in a generation in the world where everybody says we should all be equal, but we are not the same. We don't think the way women think. Women don't think the way men think. What women find attractive in men, men find disgusting in women. What men find beautiful and lovely and what we want in women, women find repulsive in men. It was like, um, I was listening to this dude speak, dude, uh, Myron, right? And he said, it's like, if I walked up, into, walked up to you in a club in a suit, six foot three, 230, solid, bank account looking, you could just tell the right, way he carried himself, he got it. I, I could have pulled up in a Lambo. I could have pulled up in a Rose. Whatever. If I walk up to you, see me walking, you like, damn, he's coming. Oh, shit, he's coming. Girl, girl, he's coming. And I walk up to you, and I be like, girl, your dress is fine. I seen you from across the room, and you looked so, ugh, and I had to come over here. You would find me repulsive. I don't care how fine, how fly, how in shape you thought I was. As soon as I came over and hit you with that feminine energy, you was like, I find that man repulsive. I find that man disgusting. Instant turn off. That is how we feel when y'all walk up to us like, what's up, bro? Yeah, what's up, bro? Give me a hug, bro. I'm not your bro. It's, you can call me brother, but I ain't your bro. We not we not homies. And... and Fellas, you calling your girl and the women around you, bro? Like, how does that even make sense? When you're sitting there with a woman that you're sleeping with or want to sleep with, and you're sitting there calling her bro. That That is absolutely crazy. Nowadays, we're going to move on from that. Nowadays, men don't even want to lead. It is natural. We are natural leaders. It's supposed to be natural. And that's why a lot of men have struggles nowadays. Because society's telling you one thing. 
Your mother's telling you one thing. The women around you are telling you one thing. But your insides are telling you something completely different. The older men around you are telling you something completely different. They want you to be sensitive and understanding and empathetic and sympathetic. Okay, you got that, but don't expect me to go to the same lengths that a female would because men aren't supposed to be emotional creatures. Now, a lot of us are emotional because, again, we were raised by women. So they said, show your emotions. It's okay to cry. But I've listened to women say they find it repulsing when men cry. It's all right if something bad happened, but come on, you lose your job or something. Like, man up and keep it pushing. That's how they feel. Your whole world could feel like it ended. But they're going to find it repulsive. So the same women that are raising you to be sensitive and, and, and empathetic and sympathetic and caring and emotional and, and show your feelings and all that, find it repulsive when you do it. They may say they want a man to do that, but as soon as he's like that, she's like, ugh. He's not, he's not carrying himself properly. So, the, the, again, the same women that tell you, we want you to be sensitive. We want you to be in touch with your feelings. Are the same women that in the back of their head are like, you over there crying like a woman. And even if she don't want to say that in the back of it, she's not saying a woman, she's calling you the B word. And in her mind, she like, you over there acting like a, a Mitch. Now, I'm guilty of this because I just started learning this stuff. We as men, a lot of men don't know how to fix stuff. Don't know how to get your hands dirty. Don't want to get your hands dirty. When I was growing up, I was getting fast money. So my thing was, I'm not doing I don't need to learn how to do this. I'll pay somebody to do it. Times change. You grow. The money comes different. You go legit. All of these things might change your view. So my my thing is, as a man, you need to either know how to fix it or pay for it. it, it it's that simple to me. Know how to fix it or pay for it. At the end of the day, it is your responsibility to lead and take care of things. Now, like I say, learn how to fix things because you might not have the paper to pay for everything. You might not have the bread to pay for all the things you need to pay for. And that means yourself, your future wife, your future kids. You might not have that. But if you know how to fix things, that can save a lot of bread. If you know how to fix your cars, that can save you thousands of dollars. If you know how to fix stuff around the house, that saves you thousands of dollars. So even if you don't got it, it's still, yo, he's busting his ass to get it done. Because that's what men do. We don't do what we want to. We do what we have to do. And as I talk, I always remind myself of the things that I be forgetting, the things that I'm lacking on, the things that I'm slipping on. When you go out and, and it's time to eat, yo, we're going to hit. You don't, what do you, what do you want to eat? Because she's not going to make up her mind. And then if you listen to the women around you, they'll tell you. They like that shit. When you lead and you can make up your mind and be decisive, because nine times out of ten, they're going to be indecisive. Right? And when you're a decisive man who can make decisions and move and just, yo, we're doing this and go. That's strong. That's leading. That is attractive. That is masculine. They try to say toxic masculinity. How? If the internet shut off, say all, say all the men went on strike. We wasn't fixing nothing. We not running nothing. Electricity grids down, sewer down. Garbage in the streets because ain't nobody doing that. But they then realize how much they need men to be men. Or do you want your six foot 
like, do you want to be around another six foot man? Or I don't care if he's five five. You want to be around another man who's sitting there crying and complaining, and 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 not handling business. Or do you want to be around men that ain't crying over the stuff? We finding solutions. We not making excuses. We on it. We getting it done. You want to be around men like that. You don't even want to be around indecisive feminine women. So what makes you think women want to be around indecisive feminine men? Did I just mess up what I said? You don't want to be around feminine men. So what makes you think women want to be around feminine men? And again, I'm talking to my straight men. You are not a woman. You have a different role to play. Your role is to protect and provide. And in a day and age where they don't necessarily always need you to provide, well, you know what? Maybe we just be watching TV and listen to what some of them be lying. Because I swear OnlyFans is a new career. And it's changing the dynamics. There's a couple other things that are changing the dynamics. I'm not just going to say OnlyFans because that's really disrespectful. But as time goes on and we watch, we're watching the gender roles change and women become more masculine and men become more feminine. Have you ever been around these other men and you're just like, bro, you are not a girl. You are not a woman. Have you ever seen people with feminine, like men with feminine traits? that cry and complain all the time and I'm not saying that these are feminine traits these are just more weak weaker traits that cry and complain all the time and uh are indecisive can't handle their business don't know how to handle their business their girls always put them in their place she's taking care of everything now he's able i'm talking about able man i ain't talking about you know fell off for a minute you got injured uh you had a habit that messed you up you went to jail, like stuff happens. I'm talking about when you're you've been good, you've been free, you've been working if you're working because you know what? I'm hearing a lot of men ain't even working, not even working, but you want to have the same role that a man's supposed to have. You want somebody to stay in their place, not not in their place. You want somebody to to be submissive and to follow your lead but you're not leading. How is that possible? How can that be possible? It cannot. You are not a woman. Carry yourself accordingly. If you can't pay for it, learn how to fix it. If you can't lead, find some big brothers to teach you how to lead. Learn what leading means, what things you need to lead in, what things you really shouldn't even care about. Certain things really ain't your business. Certain things ain't going to be in your lane and you need to stay out of it. Certain things is going to be her job. Certain things are going to be your job. Now they can say, you know what, I've seen this dude his girl was walking on the outside fellas your girl's supposed to walk on the inside of the street if you're walking and the car's on this side you should be here your girl should be here she was opening the doors and everything what's going on what's going on we're not even opening doors no more well I am but you like she could do the same thing I can do no you was born stronger Naturally, you as a male were born with the gift, the gift of strength. And we can always get stronger, just like they can. But we are naturally going to be, what, five, ten times stronger? Let me, let me, let me see. I don't want to just put that out there. So, let, let, let me see. Real quick. All right. So today's topic, apparently somebody who was very involved in cancel culture got canceled. So let, let, let's check this out.
So, males' upper bodies, on average, have 75% more muscle mass and 90% more strength than females. So I was wrong. Okay, 90% more. 75% more muscle mass. So off rip, you were born to do certain things. And because society has changed, you are not learning the things that you were supposed to do. I don't want my girl carrying bags. I don't want her carrying nothing. I don't want her carrying the goddamn thing but her purse. And I don't even want to carry that because she shouldn't need it. And you're like, well, what is she doing? Guess what? She's giving me babies. She's taking care of the household. When I come home and I'm stressed out, if you ain't never had a woman I love you rub your head until you fall asleep, or when you're having a stressful day, just hug your ass, you need certain things like that. It keeps you human. And it keeps you uh, leveled. Without that, you're going to be running them up. You'll be aggressive and hostile all day. So we got roles to play. Play your role. You are not a woman. Stop trying to be taken care of and being uh, uh, talk too sensitive and having stuff sugar-coated. I don't want it sugar-coated. I don't got time to listen to that sugar-coated. I don't need, I don't need a half an hour story because you want to say it nice. Give it to me raw. Because I'm a man, I can take it. What can I say? Uh, pressure's made for shoulders, not hips. The weight of life is made for shoulders, not hips. And from what I'm seeing, a lot of brothers' shoulders is real weak. You are not a woman. Don't let society shame you into being a certain way. Don't let the people around you shame you into carrying yourself a certain way that you know you're not supposed to carry yourself. Deep down, you know the way that you're carrying yourself and the people around you carry themselves is off. Now, some stuff is crazy, but it's some some extremes are extreme. You got the red pill world. That the, some of their stuff is extreme. They old, 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 old school. All right? But a lot of the stuff is real. A lot of this stuff makes sense. A lot of this stuff is accurate. They don't want us to compete with each other. They want to give you a, an award, a trophy for just showing up. For just showing up. You get an A for effort. What you need an A for effort for? You ain't win. Second place is the first loser. Third place is the second loser. I'm a competitive person. What am I becoming great for if I'm not going to compete? What am, I, what am I becoming great for if you want me to stay uh, uh, and walk around and act like everybody else? What am I going hard for if I can't w walk around like a winner? And like have the confidence coming on my pores? Oh, that's toxic masculinity. Why? Because I know I'm stronger than you? Why? Because I know I can handle certain stuff you can't handle? And the problem is, when you get people that get mad at you for wanting to be that way. They're mad at you for wanting to be a man. Mad at you because you open the door. Mad at you because you want to help with the bags. Yo, a woman shouldn't be kind of, that's crazy. Taking out the trash or something. And then she's talking about, ugh. It's 2021. We, please. I want to hear that. Biology has not changed. Again, let the internet shut down. A lot of, a lot of, yo, a lot of us are being in trouble. A lot of men ain't done nothing with their hands. They don't got calluses on, they don't got calluses on their hands or nothing. They got smooth hands. The internet went down. A lot of dudes are being in trouble. Because you would have to be a man then. You would have to see who the real men are then. And who are the women. And fellas, you are not a woman.
to stop carrying yourself like being max masculine is toxic. Stop carrying yourself like being a man is an issue. And knowing that you're a man is an issue. Stand tall on it. You think you think when people see what I'm saying, they're not going to have an issue with it? Stand tall on it. When I started this video, I said, if you was born a man, you're a man. I don't want to hear that. I was born in the wrong body shit. It's about how you carry yourself. You are not a woman. I don't care how you feel in your mind. You were still born. Think about the, the, the transgender athletes right now. The dudes that are going into female sports and just dominating. Severe domination. Not even just a little bit. No, like huge. You can see the difference. I just I just Googled that for you. We are born with 75% more muscle mass than females. 90% more strength than females. So you can't come out in a man's body and tell me that you're a female. I, I, I don't care about this society shit. I don't care about cancer culture. I don't care about uh, uh, body positivity and all that shit. Body positivity just made it so people could be out of shape and all messed up and, and, and nobody gonna say nothing. But you know you feel like crap. You know you look like crap. But you don't want to put in the work. So I don't be I don't I don't want to hear none of that. It is what it is. Biology has not changed. If you a man, carry yourself like a man. Period. Check it out. I was gonna go deep into this. But I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make a couple of videos on this topic. And I'm gonna post them on my YouTube, Kobe Chandler Men's Room. I'm gonna post them on, post it on my YouTube. And that's how we're gonna cover this because this is this is such a big topic that I gotta make it in sections. I gotta write down notes. I gotta have for each section because I'm jumping around and this is too important for me to just be jumping around. Y'all know I do this, this show off the top of the dome. I sit here and talk, I, every time I sat here and talked to you for an hour, it was off the top of the dome, right? My, I, I don't, I don't want to write it down and then fix it and try to sound politically correct, because I'm not politically correct, and I don't want to pretend to be something I'm not, because um, I'm on social media or on another platform. Either you're gonna take me for me, or you're just not gonna take me. Period. I'm always going to give it to you, raw fellas. You are not a woman. Carry yourself like a man. If you need to find big brothers, you got men's room. You got Kev. He, sometimes he forces it. But, you know, if, you, if you're making money like that, maybe. Uh, you got, you got other, other brothers to listen to. You got some big brothers, man. But, you know, take everything they say with a grain of salt. And if you know deep down that what somebody's saying is wrong, just because it's a grown man or somebody that uh, you respect, doesn't mean that you have to have that same mindset. Some of the stuff that some of these uh, men you're gonna hear are saying, some of the things that they are saying, you're gonna be like, no, that's crazy. Because I've heard some things that have been like, eh, that's kind of a force, bruh. I don't, I don't want that type of uh, control over somebody. I mean, I think we all do, actually, that's, that's a lie. It's natural for you to want to have control, but to use my control to that extent is kind of crazy. But like I said, you're gonna find big brothers that are gonna uh, uh, spit some good game, and you're gonna have to and you have to soak it up. And then you got some that are gonna spit some. You know, even the ones that spit the great game are gonna spit some things that you might be like, ah. So like I said, take it with a grain of salt. But find you a big brother that has put in the work, that has shown the evidence, and. and, and carries himself like a man not these women hating red pill dudes find a, a big brother that's really about helping other brothers all right i'm gonna continue to do my thing kobe channel's men's room y'all have a good night i'll see y'all next tuesday next week's topic is i'm not telling y'all yet i'll see y'all then good night
Why would I not have? 